Hello, Portal Storm here, back with another leg of our grand tour of Scotland. Uh, last time we went from Aberdeen to Inverness, I believe, and this time we are going from Inverness to the Isle of Skye. Let me pull up my uh, map here. Um, so we will be going from Inverness. We're just going to cut straight across, and we're going to go to Portree in the Isle of Skye, and we're also going to fly around Isle of Skye a little bit and uh, check out some sightseeing along the Isle of Skye. Um, we're probably going to check out or try to find the Tausker Scotch Distillery, uh, Old Man of Store, and Fairy Pools. I think we're going to try and find all those. I've never been to Scotland. I've never been to the Isle of Skye. I don't know where any of this stuff is. I'm just going to be looking at my laptop over here uh, to try and find these locations. It may or may not work. Who knows? Uh, but last time we landed in this field uh, over by Inverness. And today we are going to be taking off from the same field. And I noticed after I recorded last session that the beautiful lake in front of us that you can't really see right now, but you'll be able to see when we take off, is actually Loch Ness. The famed Loch Ness monster lives in that Loch Ness Lake. Loch Ness Lock. Um, Nessie. But anyways, uh, I'm going to put our flaps up a tiny bit. And I've adjusted some graphical settings in the game, so uh, it should be running a lot smoother. I also figured out that weird ghosting thing I'm always talking about that doesn't actually show in the videos. It was a monitor setting that I had, a refresh rate thing going on, and it was... Uh, uh, I fixed it, so... Uh, never mattered for you, but it was really annoying to me, but it's gone now, so yay! Alright, let's go ahead and take off. Flaps are set to an appropriate takeoff position. Um, parking brake is off. Going to increase our throttle. We'll set up autopilot in the air, I guess. Um... We're gonna take off from this field. We are playing live weather, live time, live everything. It is approximately... Probably getting close to 5 p.m. in Scotland right now. On... Uh, what's the date? Tuesday, September 29 is when I'm recording this. Um, gloomy day in Scotland like normal, although it looks to be... A little sunnier than last time we played this game. We go ahead and raise the flaps. Not crash my plane. Dress my trim a little bit. Hey, there's Loch Ness. Wow, my plane really wants to, uh... Get it set to a neutral position. Really wants to crash. Alright, so this is Loch Ness. I'm gonna go ahead and um, put us in the follow cam so we can get some pretty views of Loch Ness. Weird line running straight through the mountain. Loch Ness is a very, uh, linear-looking lake. Just runs. I can show you the map. That's Loch Ness. Just runs straight, linearly. Is that even what I'm trying to say? It's just a very skinny, long lake. But we'll check out Loch Ness. We'll probably cut in over here and make our way back to our pink line. Inverness is back that way. Just 
check out these little buildings over here. Loch Ness looks like a cool place. Any monster sightings? Wow, that is a uh, steep road you got going on there. Let's make our way back to our desired line over here. Check out this town. That would be... If I can get my laptop pulled up. Don't crash. The town of Drumnet Drocket. Drum to Drocket, Acmoni, Lewiston. I cannot pronounce these names, but that's okay. And now we are going by... No, we're still around Acmoni... But if we follow this river... We will get up to... The areas of Balnane and Balbeg. Not Balbag. Balbeg. And this is the River Enric. Very pretty. All right, let's jump into... I wonder if autopilot will actually work from all the way away from our uh, pink line, but we'll see here. Uh, why is the screen so dark in here? Alright, let's turn flight director on. Let's turn nav mode on. Let's turn vertical speed mode on. Let's increase our altitude to... 2,000 feet to start, but I may have to increase it because I see some mountains ahead of us. And, uh... Increase our verticals. Wait a minute. Turn vertical speed mode on. Oh, because never mind. We're already at two thousand feet. Anyways, uh, turn on autopilot. 
Please don't crash us, autopilot. Increase our altitude to 3,000 feet. Yeah, that should work. About 800 feet per minute. Can you handle that little Cessna? How far away are we from our, uh... We are close. Alright, it's a very ma this is a very mountainous area of Scotland. A little bit of turbulence. Oh, wow, look at that. This valley is really pretty. wonder if 3,000 feet is going to be enough. I see some high mountains over there. Jump up to 5,000 feet. And we are losing speed. should probably be using uh, vertical sp no, FLC mode to maintain our speed, but this works. I just want to get us up to a proper altitude so that we don't hit these mountains, and then we'll jump out into showcase mode and do our little song and dance number you all like so much. Maybe you don't. I enjoy it. My coffee is cold. That's not good. Alright, autopilot should be turning us soon. To get us back on course. My plane is going to stall. Hey, there it goes. Wondering when it was going to start its turn. Now, how, how high are these mountains? Am I going to clear them at 5,000 feet? 
I should be able to. Is there a way to find out? All right, so the highest mountain in Scotland is Ben Nevis at 4,413 feet. So unless something is really wrong in this game, we should be fine at 5,000 feet. And we are at 5,000 feet right now. I'm gonna back off the throttle a scotch. Everything is looking good. You know what that means. We're back. Wasn't that freaking gorgeous? Holy cow, that was a lot prettier than I thought it would be. That mountain range with all those valleys. All right, let's, um, buh, 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 buh. I think we're almost there, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to go back down to roughly 2,000 feet, I would say. Vertical speed mode on. Buh, buh, buh. Decrease vertical speed by 800 feet per minute. Come off the throttle a little bit. Start our descent towards Isle of Sky. And uh, where do we want to go first? Let's see here. It's going to be kind of hard to figure out what exactly I am looking for. Let me try and do this while we're descending.
I don't know if we're going to be able to find what we're looking for, but the famed fairy pools should be somewhere around here. Oh, as we are somehow got off autopilot or something happened. What is autopilot doing? Nobody knows. Nav mode is on. I just feel like autopilot might be trying to kill us right now. Interesting. All right, so fairy pools, somewhere around here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to find them, but we'll try to find them. Uh, the river. Maybe a lost cost to try and find those. We'll look for it. So follow that river up to where it splits. I think it's like up here, maybe. Anyways, let's um. Burr, burr, burr. I think we're just gonna straight, uh, shoot straight for it here in a second. But let's jump out in the follow cam so we can see the beautiful Isle of Sky real quick. Wow. Now, that is pretty, I must say. So we are making our way to the Portree Airport. Which doesn't look like it's anywhere near the actual town of Portree. So what we're gonna do is it turn autopilot off and fly up to Portree first here's a town I need to adjust my trim real quick. I'll find the names of these towns later and I'll uh, put them in the description box for everybody. But for now...
We're gonna fly up to the town of Portree, take a look at that, and we're gonna go up to the old man of store, see if we can see that mountain. Then we'll fly down to Talisker, see if we can find Talisker, and then we'll do a flyby of the fairy pools that I don't think we're gonna be able to find. Uh, and then we'll just find a place to land that seems convenient. Gotta love the reflections in this game. My... Trim still wants to, uh, fly me way up in the sky. I never knew how big the Isle of Sky was. I always thought it was a smaller island, but it's pretty freaking large. So, Portree, the town of Portree is right in this little uh, inlet right here. And then Old Man of Store is right up past this lake right up here. So we'll hit this area, then we'll hit this area. If we do another really long, I mean, it is nice to have a small, slower plane for sightseeing. But if we have to do really long treks again, I might be better to invest in a uh, faster airplane, but we'll see. It's not like you guys have to watch every minute of all of these. You can skip around. In the description, I have all the key places. Sorry, I just want to look at this uh, cool island here. There's lakes in the middle of this island. There's a house over there. That would be amazing. This would be an amazing vacation spot. A little cabin on this island near these lakes. Go fishing every day. Be fantastic. Alright, let's make our way back up to uh, Portree. I bet there's some really good seafood on Isle of Skye.
Yeah, I hear ya. What are these islands called? The Outer Hebrides? The Inner Hebrides? Something like that. All right, we're coming up on Portree. Close this map for a second. A little seaside town of Portree, an Isle of Sky. I really want to go here someday. This place looks fantastic. So peaceful. This is definitely a vacation destination for my future. If anyone lives in Portree, vacations in Portree, be sure to uh, let me know in the comment section. All right, let's head north and find the old man of store. I wonder how it'll be rendered in this game. It's supposed to be just north of These lakes up here. I highly doubt it's going to be rendered properly. 
I don't really even know what I'm looking for, but... It might be that mountain directly ahead of us. So to get there, you follow this road. The legend is the old man of store, I believe, someone correct me if I'm wrong, was a giant that died and fell into the earth and the mountain is like his thumb or something poking up out of the ground. But anyways, you drive up to here and then you park somewhere around here and then you hike up here and then somewhere around here is the old man of story I think it's bees maybe I I don't really know We'll do a couple flybys so people who know what, where it is and what it looks like can get a good view of it. Like I said, the game probably did not render it incorrectly, but one thing's for sure, it is frickin' gorgeous out here. This game does a great job. Even if it doesn't render everything in perfectly, it kind of uh, still looks beautiful. But anyways, this is the old man of store. Now we got a long trek south. So if you want, you can skip forward or stay along for the ride. We are going all the way down to check out the Talisker Distillery. Let me find it on my map real quick. All the way down here. So we should be there in a little bit. Let me set autopilot on and our headings. Let's do altitude hold mode on flight director on gauge autopilot. I don't want to do 2,000 feet, sir. Actually, screw it. We'll stay at 3,000 feet. Or is it dropping us down to 2,000 feet already? Interesting. Um, what else was I gonna do? Oh yeah, heading select mode, synchronized to our current heading, heading select on. That is zoomed out way too much. There we go. I think that is good enough.
We'll get some good shots of uh, Isle of Sky here. I wonder what the population of Isle of Sky is. I mean, obviously it blows up in tourist season, but Isle of Sky population 12,000 people. More and more people are choosing to make a move to live permanently on Sky. The population of the island is growing, and everywhere there are old houses being restored and new houses being built. Well, obviously, as it's easier to work remotely, uh, people realize, why the hell am I gonna live in a big, disgusting city when I could live out here where it's amazing and peaceful? Although I bet all the normal locals of Sky are really hating everyone coming in. Uh, I would be pretty pissed, but That's what people do. They come in, and they ruin everything. You know, I feel like we are gonna crash into... Yeah, what? <laughs> it, altitude hold mode did not hold. Uh... Turn autopilot off. Hello, sir. Our trim back up. Not stall out this aircraft. We were in a nosedive headed straight for the ground as I was not even looking at my screen reading population statistics about Isle of Skype. Alright, let's head back. This is the direction we want to go. Let's pop it out into external cam. Put my VFR map up so I know where we're going. Is the Isle of Sky expensive? The Isle of Sky is one of the top tourist destinations in the UK. In fact, nearly 70% of the total revenue of the island is made off of tourism. I believe it. It is getting dark here in Scotland. The sun is setting. So we gotta wrap up this tour here soon. I may, uh... Just skip trying to find these fairy pools, because I honestly don't even know what to look for, and I think it's gonna be a lost cause. So we're gonna check out the Talisker Distillery, which is one of my all-time favorite scotches. And uh, then we're going to find a field to land in. As this video session is already pushing an hour in length. But. Once I edit it down a little bit. We'll still probably be close to an hour. This is the first aisle we're going to be visiting in this uh, Grand Tour. I think next session maybe, or in two sessions from now, we're going to uh, visit Isla. 
which is where most of my favorite scotch is produced. Although Talisker is really good. Fun fact, before the James Bond movies came out, uh, in Ian Fleming's original novels, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, James Bond's go-to drink was Talisker. And then the movies brought upon the whole shaken, not stirred thing. All right, the Talisker distillery should be somewhere around here. That might be it down there. But let me check out my map real quick over here on my All right, I think we just passed it. It's right behind us. Let me spin this bitch around. What an amazing location. The cliffs by the sea, this little beach. And then Talisker is right here in the trees. So right ahead of us, these little buildings in the trees, this is the Talisker distillery. It looks like a house, but that's just because it was rendered that way in the game. It's not actually a house. Regardless, let's try and land by the beach and not go into the ocean. Spin around. Flaps all the way down. Gonna be a rough landing. All right, I'm going around. I'm gonna do another pass. I'm gonna come in from the ocean side. There we go. That's a little better, huh? Get us over by the beach.
give us a good sunset ending to this fight. Parking brake set. Flaps up. Alright. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, thumbs up, and um, subscribe if you want me to make more videos. Uh, nothing lets me know you want me to make more videos than a growing subscription number. Um, until next time, uh, keep on flying.